So if you were tuning in on Friday, we were talking about Mike and his tennis venture and you were heading into a tournament this weekend. Yes. How so did it go? It went better than the first one. So my first tournament, I was more so just happy to be there and only won two games. On Friday, I won six games. So I increased my productivity by 300%. So that is something. And rather than just happy to be there, I kind of felt more comfortable on the court. I was able to impose my will. Here's some footage of my match. Imposed my will a little bit and had my opponent worried. So he went up four nothing and then but I had three game points in those four games. Then I went six of the next ten games. So I started to get a little bit excited. Had some overhead smashes oh, like that. You little fist pump. Are you pump. angry about something? No, just a little fist pump. Just getting the you energy. See the way up. he walked away, like dick that. <laughs> well, you can see there's not thousands of fans there, so I have to create my own excitement. But my opponent had his parents and his sister there. So after he beat me, the dad came up to me. I think he was trying to be nice, but he shook my hand and said, "Nice game, sir." Oh. So that was that, that felt that felt a little yeah. tough. Yeah. Nice. Um, explain why you're doing this again. You are explain the purpose. Well, I'm missing my competitive outlet, so I'm started a uh, blog called Second Serve. You can find on globalnews.ca. I'm doing a monthly video and article of my journey through Canadian tennis, looking to improve my game and kind of capture some competition that I've been missing since retiring from sports. But I think you may have found my future opponent I too. Think I have. So uh, my husband and I were watching your little series on. Uh, Mean to say, why did I say that? That sounds no? that sounds a little rude. <laughs> well, but, sir, she okay. was watching your series. Little series, but. <laughs> that may have been Chris talking right now because he wants to take <laughs> you on. So we were watching your two installments, and it's 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 um it's cute. I like it. Oh my gosh, I just did it again. <laughs> Because you're funny. It's I love your adorable. commentary. You're very self-deprecating, so and it's, it's I like it. Anyway, Chris was making that. Uh, he was uh, watching you very closely, and he said, "Tell Mike." I want to I want to see him on the court. It's so. on. Well, we're going to play in the next couple of weeks and I don't mean it to be self-deprecating. I'm just not good enough. If I was better, it'd be way more ego. Well, he did but say you have to be self-deprecating. He, did, he does want to correct um, a leg thing you do. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway, but you can oh, you can no. deal with it with Chris out on the court. It's yeah. going to be like Greece when uh, Danny Zuko and Craterface do that big race. So I'm coming for you, Chris. There you go.